Happy Halloween, friends. This is Andy. This is the first time you really get to see him on camera. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name's Anna, and this is going to be my reaction slash game plan to 20.4. Obviously, this is Halloween. I had to do some sort of face paint. I always, on my Instagram, do some sort of crazy look. Right now, all I can concentrate is on this little dollop of fake blood on my top lip. Tried my best to do a face paint of just the muscles underneath the skin with a little bit of extra blood for effect. And then I'm gonna wash it off after this video. So, <laughs> Andy has found the workout. I think so. He thinks so. He's gonna read it. I don't know what it is. And uh, we'll decide after that if I'm gonna go scaled or RX. Oh, my hand's stuck to my face. Oops. <clears throat> Do your best Dave Castro impression. 20.4 <laughs> is... <laughs> Stop! Alright, it's four time. Four time. Four time. Is there a time cap? There's a 20 minute time cap. Great. Another long haul. 30 box jumps, 24 inches, 20 inches. Okay. 15 clean and jerks, 95. Oh! 65. Interesting. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't read the whole thing. I just started at the, at the top. <laughs> Great! 30 box jumps. Again? 15 clean and jerks at 135.85. Oh, shoot. 30 box jumps, 10 clean and jerks, 185, 115. Ew, okay. Oh, it changed again on me. 30 pistols, 10 clean and jerks at 225 and 145. <laughs> 30 pistols, 5 clean and jerks at 275 and 175. 30 pistols, 5 it's clean and still jerks going. <laughs> at 315 and 205. Okay, you want to know where you lost me on the RX version? Is the clean and jerks at 115. Which, My one rep max clean and jerk is 100 pounds. Hang on. Sweet. Yeah. Alright, so uh, box jumps, fine. I, they box jumps they're not box jump overs, they're just box just jumps. Box jumps, which sucks. Okay, box jumps, fine. Like, <clears throat> that's gonna hurt. 30 is a pretty decent amount, first of all. Um, into 15 clean and jerks at 65, fine. Go back to the box jumps, all right. Then it goes up to 85. It's gonna be heavy, but I can do it. Then it still box jumps after that? Three rounds of box jumps. I lost track. Of okay, that so now I'm on the third round of box jumps. It's gonna suck, but okay. Then 115 weight, that's where I would stop. Is there, um, there's a 20 minute time cap? Yeah. Okay, so initial thoughts. Augie's here. <laughs> so is Ziggy, apparently. It's a family affair this time mm -hmm. around. Um, I. Off of offhand, I would attempt to do this RX up until the 115 pound clean and jerks. And I would take 20 minutes to do that. And I would be content with that score. I'm gonna see if there's a tiebreaker. But um, what I also would like to know is what the scaled version of that whole thing is. Please hold. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's a 20 inch box, but it's a 14 pound med ball step up. And Weighted the, step ups? And the clean and jerks are 35, 55, 75, 95, 115, and 135. I have a question. Standards on the box jumps. So you can step up and step down, and it still counts. Really? It's literally from the ground to the top of the box, full extension. Oh, so that's interesting. Onto and off the box. 
David, you're definitely going to get to the pistols. I know you will. Um, I will not be getting to the pistols uh, this time. Maybe if this is a repeat workout in the future, maybe. But as of right now, I'm not too concerned about the pistols. The box height doesn't change, scaled or RX. So you might as well do it RX because by the standards, you can step up and down off the box. That's so true. So scaled is not going to save you... If it's a mobility issue, it's the same height. All right. So now, now the question comes to you, what are you? What is your purpose for doing the open? Are you doing the open to be a part of it and do be in a competition environment around your community? And are you trying to do as much work as you can in 20 minutes, or are you leaderboarding? Because that's kind of going to end up helping you decide what you want to do. Personally, I am going to go RX and go as far as I possibly can. I feel comfortable with box jumps and I feel comfortable with a 65 pound bar. I feel a little less comfortable with an 85 pound bar, but I can do it. Um, then just trying to get up to that 115 pound bar is going to be my goal, but I also know that with that many box jumps, that's 90 box jumps, in 20 minutes, they're going to end up getting pretty slow, and I might not even get there, so. I'll fall at least once. <laughs> no, don't put that out into the universe. And especially knowing that I can step up, I get a pretty good rhythm with the step, step, uh, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. That will be my pace for my step ups. I've also seen people do workouts completely with just step ups and end up finishing faster than somebody who actually did box jumps because they take so much more energy that it will tire you out faster. And if you have the option to step up, I would do that the whole time at a consistent pace. Uh, that's my plan and I'm going to stick to that uh, as of right now, but as you know, plans could change. But that's what I'm going to do. How about you? What are you going to do? What's your decision after hearing that workout? Are you going to go RX? Yeah. Any thoughts on your game plan? Um, I am notorious for coming out way too hot. Uh, so I'm going to have to make a conscious effort to slow myself down. 20.1. Uh, <laughs> we were in, we're in Australia. Three, two, one, go. I look up at the clock after the first round and I realized I made a mistake. I did the same And it was really, really hard to recover from. And I knew that I was going to do it going into it. And I did it anyway. So my box jumps are going to have to be methodical from the beginning. But I'm really excited to throw some heavy barbells around. I just hope my lungs don't bleed before I get to. I'll also we'll probably see. step down. Yes. I have a tendency. I'll do the box jump. Like get the actual jump, get the rep, but then I will, mm -hmm. from the beginning, step down. I'm going to do step up the whole time because I can stay with the tempo and it will hopefully save me a little bit of energy for the barbell. Proportionally, too, it's a much bigger jump for you than it is for a lot of people. Yeah, that's true. It's like ball balls. I'm tiny and mighty. I can handle it. <laughs> Yep. So I think that's going to be it for us. Uh, that is our game plan. Let me know in the comments below what you're planning on doing, how you feel about this. Is there anything that freaks you out? Is there anything that you're really excited for? How do you feel? Also, if you haven't already, there's this week and next week. It's not too late to join my custom leaderboard that is... Hi, friends! Go to your games.crossfit.com profile and add the hashtag hi friends to be added to my custom leaderboard so you can see how you stack up against me, the rest of the friends, and how much better than me you did, because you probably will. I don't like that you end it that way. She's trying to be supportive and it just self-deprecates. No, I, <laughs> I'm saying it'll be fun to join the leaderboard and... If there's anybody that you might get a higher score, then it's probably me. <laughs> so that's it for us. Uh, we will see you probably on Monday. Good luck and have fun. Goodbye. Okay, <laughs>